How's it going everyone? So something different today, not a hardcore Iron Man video, but maybe an interesting video for some old school players and for RS3 players, probably something that might be kind of helpful for them. I want to make this video as short and sweet as I can because these type of videos are annoying if they're long because people just want me to get straight to the point. So basically this is uh, me doing a small little rundown of Invention Batch 2. Uh, came out right before I left for RuneFest, I believe. I made one video short of, sort of showcasing this. But I didn't really talk too much about it, what it can do. Now, most RS3 players probably already know about this stuff, uh, but maybe not necessarily the, the profits that you can make from it. Now, it's nothing insane, but this will make you a total profit of at least two bonds a month, so you can uh, get free membership basically by doing this. The only downside is that it does require 117 invention to do the top tier stuff basically. You can have like 100 invention, I believe, but you'll make much less money every uh, day or every week, however you want to look at this. Um, so you won't make enough to buy the bonds, but you'll make a, a small amount. This is very similar to having like the Elite Varrock Diary done on Old School. You can buy 120 battle staffs every day, profit about 240k or 200k plus, and if you you know do that every day, you can basically get free membership every single month on Old School if you uh, buy your daily battle staffs. So I guess this is sort of the RS3 version of it, uh, exactly the RS3 version, but uh, this is much more game damaging than the, the old school one. So to make all these things in this room, it doesn't really cost much money at all, it's mostly just the invention level. Uh, you will see me disassembling a few like Addy two-handers or Addy swords and some maple logs. That's just kind of the components you need to make them. Uh, you can kind of look them up, obviously it'll show you what components you need to make each of these machines. But the middle thing is basically the generator. Um, this is the thing that keeps it all together. You're supposed to use divine charges on it. I just made the top tier one because I assume it's the most efficient one or probably just holds the most divine charges. Uh, divine charges is that little, where can I see it exactly in this video? It's the very bottom right of my inventory. Uh, that is divine chargers. There should be about 300 there. They're about 60k each roughly. Uh, and this is basically the, I guess you can say it's the currency of this big generator. You don't put money in the generator to operate it, you just put these divine charges, which you can buy from the GE for 60k each. And the jumbo generator, I believe, is like 102 invention anyway, so it's not too high. Uh, but both of the plank makers are level 117. Now, I will be trying this out in the future to use the auto alking machine, but I decided to do the uh, plank maker one for now. Um, just because it was much easier to buy the planks. For the alking machine, you can buy any items you want, technically, and you just put them in there and it alks them for you. Uh, there's obviously going to be a few items that are more efficient to alk than other ones, and most of those items uh, take a while to buy in the GE, which is what I'm currently doing. But I'm going with uh, basically the shop items. I'm going with like rune two-handers, rune skirts, rune plate legs, and even rune plate bodies on this game. They're um, like 38k each or something like that. Now the good thing about the auto alking machine is that you will always get the same amount of money back, whereas with the plank maker, planks will eventually crash a bit. In fact, they've already crashed about 15%, I believe. They were 12, there were 2,000, now they're about 1,700 each. So took a little dip. Uh, mahogany logs stayed roughly the same, uh, which I guess isn't too bad, but you, you profit just about 1,000 GP per uh, plank, uh, not, con not uh, counting the charges you have to use. So all I have to do right now is log in every eight days. I put 7,500 mahogany planks in one machine, or mahogany logs in one machine, 7,500 in another machine, and then 2,500 in the small little tier one. And then I go AFK for eight days. You don't have to log in, you know, at all. So it's not like you have to log in in order for it to activate again or something. It is 24 seven on the clock. It does not take a rest. No days off, by the way. It doesn't matter if you log in and out, kind of like with the farm ticks. I, you just have to put the machine and put the charges in there and it'll go for as long as it says it's going to take. So um, for this, I tested about two weeks roughly. And I do obviously have two accounts that are, you know, 120. Well, I have three accounts that are basically 200 mil invention, but one of them is an Iron Man. So I am doing this on my Iron Man account as well, but that's more for like a personal gain of like to actually get planks to train construction, whereas these two accounts my main and then my alt uh, is basically just for profit. So here's a picture here after two weeks roughly. Now I have two machines obviously. This is just one of the machines, 16,000 planks. And then there's another one, 16,000. And then there's a small one that has a few thousand that I started to use much later on. But that one would have roughly, I guess, uh, four, no, 5,000-ish five, 5, planks. So it's about a third of the speed. 
So in just a little over two weeks, you will have almost like 40,000 planks that are completely made for you. And the total profit from this uh, is just a little bit more than uh, two bonds. So every month you can buy two bonds by doing this and it'll basically be free membership and you'll have like a few mil as well in your bank that you can get in profit. So uh, that's the nice thing about it. Now, obviously, if you already like pay, if you pay for membership with IRL or something like that, then it's just a free 30 mil plus every month, which is, you know, 360 mil a year. It's not that much, but I mean, it, I guess it depends on how many accounts you have. Unfortunately, because bonds are so high in price, this isn't really worth doing on like an alt unless it's already members. So don't think like, oh, I'm gonna go make an alt, get 117 invention on it, and then just do this and make money because the membership fee will be just about the same as the profit you make. So it's, it's not worth it if you're gonna do that. But if you already have an account that's members, even if it's just your alt account and you just play on it for fun, um, you may as well do this. I mean, it makes money in the long run and it'll be free membership. And I do believe that the auto alking machine makes a bit more profit, but like I said, it just takes a bit more time to buy the materials to even do that. Plus you need a lot of money because you're buying relatively expensive items because most of the rune items out for you know good prices, good profit at least. Um, whereas the lower tier items that cost like a few K, they don't make too much money. And I will be uh, making a video that is going to be discussing kind of the downfall of this update, to be honest. I'm sure you guys would most likely tell already what the huge downside of this is, and it's going to create probably a big clusterfuck, but I just brought 40,000 planks into the game, and I used zero GP to do that, which normally would have costed me 60 million pure coins. So you can already see the huge inflation that's going to happen in this game in the long run, especially if everyone does this so i'm hoping in the future that something happens but i'm gonna save that for a different video because i'm gonna give an ass whooping to jags for all these updates that don't make any sense i'm gonna keep it pg-13 though man try and keep my monetization you know but that is one of the uh, many flaws but uh overall this is free membership like i said abuse it as much as you can because one day it might change so thank you guys for watching and we have three minutes left to fill for this video so i'm gonna play my intro for three minutes just to make sure i can put ads in the hello all bitches Yeah, I love all bitches.